here, they're, they're doing more inspections here, parting hairs, trying to find the least little thing that they can to call a violation. And uh, I'm gonna tell you, it's it just, sometimes, Jimmy, it, they go to extremes. And uh, the more extremes they go to, especially if you get a VMO that worked for the Humane Society before they went to the USDA. There are such people? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. And uh, we even had one Congress lady that was running for Congress that was very in-depth in with the, the Humane Society to the point that they gave several hundred thousand dollars to her campaign to try to get her elected. So uh, it, and her husband was over the USDA at the time. So that's, oh, that's what we've run into. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just, uh, it, it seems like they, they try to stack the deck any way they can to get what they want. And uh, sometimes they're very successful, but we've been successful in catching them, doing a lot of stuff they do, like that right there. We're going to show a little video in a minute that shows exactly what he is doing to get that horse to move. If you look, when he mashes with the base of his thumb, doesn't get nothing, but when he thumb, turns that thumb up and goes down into the pocket, then he's getting a reaction. Right. Well, we're going to show what they're doing. So it, it, they, they think they're slick in what they do, but they're really not. They, right. After a while, you can get to where you can tell exactly what they're doing, and they're creating false positives which in all honesty should have been against the law and they should be charged for it. And quite honestly, they believe they're above the law and they're not. And, uh, and I hate to say it like that, but facts are facts. And what they do to cause these violations, especially that lady right there, we've got a video to where we really and truly caught exactly what she was doing. And, and that's we're, that what uh, we're talking about when she's pressing on the... Well, what she's doing, she's raising, instead of using the flat of her thumb, she's raising it using the tip of her thumb, thumb which is create a little bit different feel, a whole lot more pressure. But she was going after a, a nerve. And it was so obvious that she was doing it, if it that, that it's not funny. Here she is. If you watch her hand, watch what she does. And she's trying to get the horse to move, claiming that it's sore there. Right. Where she's hitting that nerve. And she does it over and over again. The same rep, same thing several different times. And then finds the horse out on sensitivity. The only problem is the horse is not out. There's Dr. Mullins. He just inspected that foot. But you're about to see how the girl made the horse move. I, I don't get any movement. No. As soon as he stops, I'll tell you what she did to get him to move. Now watch very carefully what Dr. Mullins does with his thumb to get the horse to react to the palpation. That's it. Exactly what you just did. Huh? She's pinching the nerve. You can't do that. You can get you hold your thumb flat, you cannot make him move. Watch this, Jerry. I know that that's what she watch, did. Watch her. Yep. Dead foot. You can't make that horse, but if you grab hold of that nerve, that's it. Once you realize what they're doing to get the horse to react, it's easy to catch them. Every time. And the owner just asked if he could show him how to make the horse move. Show me what 
we're doing behind and make a move? Well, there's a nerve right on the inside. Take your finger. Show just, the camera. Okay. Just take your finger right on the inside right of the there. cartilage. Make a move every time. Yep. Here's just a replay of what the young lady's doing to let you see exactly what she's doing with her thumb. She turns it up and goes down into the pocket to hit the nerve. This is not the way the horse is supposed to be inspected. Very subjective manner. Now here's a horse that's 18 years old. At one time, they would target this horse on scar rule. But since they've had their hands slapped a few times on the scar rule, now they're going to something else. And if you watch, she goes down into the pocket. There she is, down in there, hitting that nerve to get the horse to move. This is not the proper way to inspect a horse. By far, it's not the proper way. Now, we're going to take this same horse outside and let Dr. Mullins inspect the horse and he's going to show you that if you palpate this horse correctly he's not going to move but if you go in and hit that nerve he's definitely going to move and again this horse is 18 years old and you've seen how clean his feet are and you're going to see a little bit more now in just a minute Okay, this is the Golden Sovereign owned by Virginia Stewart, trained by Chad Williams. It's 527-16 at 7.39 p.m. Called one footer or two footer? One. One footer by the USDA. Which foot? Sensitivity or scar? Sensitivity. Yes, sir. Now, you can push on this horse all you want to. If you palpate, you can probably beat on him. But if you grab hold of this right here, he's going to move every time. And that's, I'm assuming, that's what they did, right? And that's what they've been doing all night. Nothing right about it. This is just another example of the methods that the USDA will use in order to find horses in violation. Anybody can see what this woman's doing to get this horse to move. Something that our government needs to look at. The DQPs do a thorough job of inspecting properly. They go to the USDA, all of a sudden the horse is sore. They go to an equine vet and he checks the horse, the horse is fine. That is the problem. The USDA not doing their job properly and they know they're not doing their job properly. For them to do the things they do to try to create problems when they should be working with us and according to the horse, pit, uh, the HPA, they're supposed to observe. Uh, they do a lot more than observe. They cause problems that are not there and they do it because they're being pushed by the, U by the Humane Society of the United States and Congress is jumping right in there with them. 